Hello everybody, this is All Souls Gaming and welcome back to another episode of Let's Play <clears throat> Gibbous a Cthulhu Adventure. In the previous episode, we sought aid for our uh, talking feline problem, which unfortunately the voodoo gentleman couldn't help us with. But he did give us a lead to follow in Bob Olmstein, who could help us out. Uh, but he is able to help us out with helping out the taxi driver guy, so he'll drive us to Fishmouth. We got everything else. All we need is a doll. And I think I know just where to get it one. Now, will Kid I do it now, or do we have to talk to the little girl? Hey, Kitty, how about you climb up and get that fishy for me? Really, Buzz? What's in it for us? Another doll in exchange for it. Your preoccupations are a constant source of wonderment and worry, but okay, we're quid pro quo -ing. Hmm. All right, Miss Know-It-All, I think we need to have a talk about you helping out whenever I consider it necessary. Geez, fine. You were right this time, okay? Sheesh. So from now on, you'll help out when I tell you to? Ask me to. And that's a maybe. Let's say I'll be more inclined to. <sighs> I'll take it. Huh. Also, it seems Kitty is aware of the fourth wall, considering she's following our, uh, cursor. But yeah, I wonder if you get that conversation if you don't ask her the first time around. It's that little girl's ugliest sin fish doll. Eh, I've seen uglier. All right, Priscilla, here's your fishy. Let me have the doll. Hmm. Deal, creep. This town, man, this freaking town. All right, let's head back to the voodoo gentleman. And see what he's gonna do with this doll. Oh wait, Got I gotta look run. up the order. I'll be here. Which means I should probably head back to the library, because if you'll recall, there was a uh, very, very specific book in the library that is hopefully still somewhat intact. Darkham is particularly horrid this time of year. No time for sightseeing. Alright, alright, fine. Staying is cool. I thought I was making such a statement. Or was I trying to be ironic and hip? Can't remember. Huh, so he's the one who carved that. Why am I staring at this thing? I've got important things to attend to. Yeah, it's gosh darn beautiful. Let's move on. That's Steve, the gargoyle. We go way back. He's down with the vegetation, son. He's into the herbs, bro. He's all about them weeds. That's Steve. They wouldn't like each other. Wow, this place is still on fire. Amazingly, none of the maroon books look damaged, diehard little... They're the last thing I need at the moment. She's not into books. Says you. Do it yourself. You're the one with opposable thumbs. That's the interest intriguing tome. A very intriguing looking book. Maybe I should take a closer look. Was that rhyme intentional? A very convenient treatise on the order voodoo magic ingredients should be used in. Whoa, convenient to say the least. Mental notes, sometimes examining items several times really pays off. Mm-hmm. Okay. Uh, let's see. Okay, according to this treatise, I think the order we should use the items is someone attractive, doll, thing that cuts. 
Alright, somewhat attractive doll thing that cuts. Got it. Yeah, man. Found this book called A Very Convenient Treatise on the Order Voodoo Magic Ingredients Should Be Used In. Think it might help? It might. Have you read it yet? Yep. Let me see those ingredients first. Found a doll. You mean mercilessly ripped from the hands of an innocent child, don't you? All right, what do you want to call it? Chad. I dub thee Chad. I think I saw it frown at me. No good. Todd. I dub thee Todd. I don't think this will work. Brittany. Oh, heck no. What's wrong with Brittany? Asenath. Asenath it is. So, that was all of them, huh? Indeed it was. All right, now this is important. Which order should we use them in? Let's see. Picture doll scissors. Picture doll scissors. All right, here we go. Jambalaya. Uh, okay, what just happened? Azanath just lost her head over some male model dude. I told you, I deal in figurative voodoo. Should have seen it coming. Do you think it worked? I know it worked. Thank you, VG. Enough respect, B. Oh, what's this? Did some good, I guess. 25 karma, dubious morality. Read and remembered the correct voodoo sequence. Nice. So everything seems to have worked out in the end, huh? So, everything seems to have worked out in the end, huh? Well, not everything, but yeah, it's a start. Gonna go change Kid A back now. You do that. Please. See you soon. Not too soon, I hope. Hmm. Ancient cell phone. Boy, that is one ancient device. Hello, operator? I've never heard that one before. Kitty has no friends to call. I heard that. I mean, given her behavior... Not surprised. All right. We did their favor. Heard from Ed lately? You. You're good. Nah, it was nothing. No, 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 no. You're good. You're very good. Just got off the phone with Ed. Azanet left him for a male model. My God. I don't know how you did it, but you did it. <laughs> Thanks. So... Want to go to Fishmut? Want? No. But I'm a man of my word, friend. Get in. We're off to Stinkville. Hear that, kitty? Adventure awaits. I can barely contain my enthusiasm. Ah, you'll love it. Seafood as far as the eye can see. Oh, brother. Alrighty. Here goes nothing. Chapter 2, The Temple. Ah. Yep, we're kind of going back and forth with characters on this one. Ah, uh, where am I? What happened? See, fire extinguisher. There was no time for anything else. All I wanted was to get out of that dump pronto. Hey, you out there! Let me out of here, you dirtbags! Come on, who's out there? Hello? Nothing. So, this isn't gonna be easy after all. I started to take in my surroundings and... Bing, bang, boom! 
I was seeing salvation in every little thing that caught a glint. In my mind, they were already shaping into something that would definitely get these goons' attention. I was gonna do big, loud things with petty stuff. Like a poor country using scraps to send a rocket to the moon. Okay. Whoever tossed me into the clink must have left this here for my amusement. Distracted is the last thing I want to be right now. Uh-huh. It doesn't have the tubes, in series or otherwise. No way to contact the outside world. Alright, well, let's take the fire extinguisher. Mm, extremely powerful, huh? Sounds like a rocket of a time. Eh, got a fire extinguisher. Wall of pictures. Parish of Starry Knowledge Camp Highlights. So, that's who I'm dealing with, huh? See, empty soup can? I could use this. I guess. Slippers. I ain't putting on slippers unless I'm at home in my robe with a stiff drink, a Maurice Ventricool record, and a searing fear of the telephone. Okay, how about a shoe? I'm sorry, I... I can't do it. Not since the separation. I'll just take it anyways. Okay, a pristine rag. Nah, it's no use just by itself. I can't just pick it up with my bare hands. Well, we did have that... What is no soon to be not pristine. It's so clean in this dump, but I'm keeping it. Eh, it's not gonna stay clean for long. I wanna stain it with the stuff. Or not. Nothing there of any utility. If I wanted any tar, there's plenty spilled on the floor. Things are ramping up. Okay. Yeah, maybe. But not in my pocket. Nah, I could use this plank for something else. Knife to a gunfight. It's a puddle. I think I need something with a little depth. Pennies to pachyderms. I'll find something to fill it. Hmm, how about the tar? All right, let's get me some of this tar. Okay. I think I need something else there first. The empty soup can? The soup can would just roll around in there. I need it to be stable. Hmm. Tar mug. Here we go. Now it's a little shallow pool of dense, extra sticky tar. And then the soup can? All right, let's stick this in there. What the heck was I concocting here? It felt abstract, ridiculous, absurd even. The foundation of a really far-fetched and scatterbrained solution to my predicament. But this was a pretty ridiculous adventure already, so I guess I was just adapting. Mm -hmm. And a plank. This was officially ridiculous. Was I feeling proud of myself? A definite and resounding no, but it was all I had. Oh boy. This guy's gonna be our wacky adventure guy. Look at this. A cringeworthy blue ribbon taker and the crazy enough that it could work regional semifinals. Definitely not a highlight in my career. Assuredly not a low, though. Maybe those late night Mac Viper and Mac and Cheese syndicated binges had some kind of effect on my person. Good old Mac and Cheese. Acute adventuritis, rubbing things together. All right, door. Brace for a serious, imminent impact. No way this is gonna work. The boss wants to see you. Come on out here. You have got to be kidding me. Mr. Katype, or should I call you Don? No, you shouldn't. Katype will do just fine. We provided you with some slippers. Did Brother Gleam not assess your shoe size correctly? Now listen here, Buster. You can leave a man pantless, shirtless even. But don't mess with his footwear symmetry, you barbarian. What is this place and who are you anyway? This is about that damned book, isn't it? How deductive. Earning your keep, huh? Come now. Don't take it personally, Katype. 
You were useful in leading us to it for a while, and then you were no more. We never really wanted to hurt you, or your shoes. You're sullen, grumpy, and mean to everyone. We like you. You would have gone far in our organization. Hmm, well, did you find the darn thing? As soon as the kidnapped troops got you out of there, our recon squad was dispatched to retrieve the volume. So you're really convinced you know its exact whereabouts, huh? Close to 100% certain. Ah, speak of the devil. All right, Brother Bright, was our information correct? Yes, Brother Starburst. So it's true. The Necronomicon really was hidden in the library? Kind of. Y yes, your starriness. Well, don't just stand there, you fool. Let's see it. Well, we we don't really have it. What? A sigil was gone, broken into tiny little pieces. And something had clearly been hidden in there, but no book in sight. Get tight? Everything was intact when I was in there, so don't put it on me, your grand poobah shininess. What about the librarian? It's a funny thing. We ran past each other when we were on our way to collect the tome. He looked so scared. <laughs> well, of course he looked scared. A bomb had just gone off. Anything else? Hmm. I don't think so. <gasps> oh, wait. Yes. He was carrying a big book and didn't seem too happy about it either. Find me this librarian now! What about me? You don't need me anymore. Oh, just go back to your little cellar. Now let's be real here for a minute. What good am I to you now, cultist? He's right, Brother Starburst. You just chew into our rations, and you don't know anything either way. Oh, all right, just sacrifice him to the Haunter or something. Stop bothering me! Fine with me, boss. Walk, prisoner. What are you up to, Katype? Uh, I'm gonna need someone from rites and rituals down here ASAP. I'm about to do an R24-A. Come on, guys. You know the drill. Guys? Guys? Sheen? You out there? Anyone? Come on, you know I can't do Jack until we fill out the SNEF 187. We don't want any trouble with Colt Union. We've been through this, people. Is anyone out there? Guys? Prisoners not in sacrificial robes. No ceremonial bucket for the collection. We're really running a shoddy operation here. No wonder EOD's kicking our derriers. I'm embarrassed. The prisoner's embarrassed. This is not looking good, brothers. Sheen? Flair? You guys totally bolted, didn't you? Starburst is not gonna be happy when he hears about this, people. This makes us look really, really bad. I almost feel like apologizing to the would-be victim. Hey, don't feel bad. It's not your fault. Yeah, well, it sort of is. It's our collective fault. I share in it. I take my responsibilities seriously. We're not a startup cult anymore. This is unacceptable. Your striving to be a better evil organization is commendable. Aw, thank you. It's nice to know that at least someone here appreciates it. Don't mention it. Well, maybe now we can use this. Sweet dreams, star lover. Well, at least we got to use it. Oh, look, it has Jelly Annihilation Epic. Brother Gleam is sleeping off a particularly demanding day. He'll make it. Don't worry. Sleep tight, little cultist. Don's watching over you. Okay, fire extinguisher? I don't want to disturb the guy. He's getting his beauty sleep. Astronomical mumbo jumbo, stoke, star eyed, yeah, barricade floor. Well, may as well take the ladder up. Doesn't look like I can head out that door. Damn it, how'd I know it'd be locked? Hmm. Damn it, how'd I know it'd be locked? Ooh, Don's diary. 
see. This, I mean, uh, wake up in a strange basement with a pulsating headache and no shoes on. And they, whoever they are, give me slippers. Slippers. Need to conduct a way to uh, conduct. Yeah, concoct. Way to escape this dump. Plenty of junk lying around. Maybe I could rig something up. Got my fire extinguishing rhyme rocket ready, and it still packs some punch. Maybe I could squeeze another miracle out of it. I know I should focus on my escape, but that hatch leading up to God knows where is too tempting to ignore. What are these starry kooks up to? What are they hiding up there? Must be a way to get past that metal hatch. It's a heap of astronomy-related instruments. Wait, there's a piece of wire sticking out from it. Who? I think I'd rather just pick it up. Okay, we got a bit of wire. An unassuming small piece of wire that could come in real handy. Huge, sturdy door. It's barricaded from the outside. How would you know that? Exiting through the heavy door is out of the question. Gotta look for an alternative. I don't know, would the piece of wire work on this? There's no visible lock to pick on it, so... No. Okay. Not a particularly interesting starry cult desk, if you ask me. Yeah, I could use something to pizzazz it up. I'm not into this desk at all. Got a serious structural hazard over here. Hmm. I believe my way out is through that cracked surface in the wall. I just need the right kind of tool with the right kind of properties. So that is very hard and swingable. Okay. A little color twist to the classic checkered temple floor. That's nice, I guess. I think I can reach if I leap. I never thought I'd say this, but I don't think I'm heavy enough. Me or the stuff I'm lugging around. Alright, time to find a bunch of stuff to pick up. Nothing there of any utility. That's an odd choice for a detention type basement. I'm sorry, I... I... A single shoe. Part of a matched pair. Lost. Alone. Distracted is the last thing I want to be right now. I ain't getting past those bars without some heavy-duty power tools. Okay... I don't want to disturb... Looks like a hatch heading to an upper floor. A heck of a lot of literature. Most, if not all of it, star-related. Figures. Not in the mood for star stuff, really. Hmm. It appears to be dusk outside. Well, that's nice. A little extra safety is always appreciated. Nope. Damn it. How'd I know it'd be locked? Okay, what can I do? Looks like a healthy crack at it might spell its doom. Okay, take a swing at it with the fire extinguisher? Right then and there, I thought of placing the fire extinguisher on the desk so as to help steer it and set it loose on the cracked surface of the wall. I could make tracks from this place and never look back. It came to me then that doing so would make a mighty commotion, though. And these starry jamooks would be all over me like a shot. I'd never get to explore whatever it was hiding on the other side of that ladder. No. There I stood. A Joe with one foot in a mystery and the other missing a shoe. They dragged me here against my will and I wasn't gonna leave without first finding out just what the hell they were all about. I had to think of something else. Okay... Seems like a good idea, using the extinguisher to crack open the hatch. But that idea ain't but a few think ticks away from imagining that can bouncing all over the room at pressure. 
filling the place with cloud and powder and knocking the Joe's lights all the way out. I'm using it as I speak. It's really, really shiny. Nothing I can do with Brother Gleam. Barricaded from the other side. Makes sense that they'd shut me in here, but it seems that they don't think too highly of that Gleam guy either. <sighs> I'm not seeing anything else. I ain't putting on slippers unless I'm at Oh, isn't that nice? That's a lot of dense, sticky tar. Seems to be a lot of it around. If I wanted any tar. Discarded food, fish bone. Useless and for nothing there. What am I missing? I never thought I'd say that. Gotta know them. Hmm? Oh. I'm gonna need something to whack it good if I want out this way. <sighs> Think. Wonder if it's locked. You know it is. Damn it, how'd I know it'd be locked? Okay, what am I missing here? It's an enticing ladder to some upper level. Hmm. It looks very, very climbable. Uh-huh. I'm not into this desk at all. Okay. Only stars, no stripes. Not in the... Judging by its placement, it seems I'm in a basement. Huh, rhymes. Not much to see, but boy, does this sickening fish... Nothing there that... The more I look at it, looks more like a collect. I don't want to. Distracted is the last thing I want. I can't just. Well, you got rid of the mug. I don't want to stain it with the stuff. I just lose it in there. I think I'm overestimating. All right, well, it's obvious I'm stuck at this point. And we are almost out of time for this episode, so I may as well end things off there for today and see if I can't look into figuring out how to get through that hatch, because that's obviously where I need to go. So, if you guys like what you see, please leave a like, subscribe for future content. Don't forget to hit that bell icon to get notifications when I upload, and please leave a comment down below this video. I'll see you guys in the next episode. Thanks for watching.